Hello guys, welcome to my fifth video for creating a login application and sign up form. In this video, we will be adding the sign up form along with the login application we had created earlier. So let us start by giving a link for the sign up action we have to create. I'll give that a sign up and I'll just uh, run it in the browser and check. So we can see our new link now. Now we will give an action for the link we had created. So I'll just copy paste the form action and change it to login underscore sign up. And now we'll have to define the a root under that name. So I'll create that root for that and the path as sign up. For the path we had created, we will now create an action called sign up. So we can define that action here as sign up action. Which will have an request input as we'll have to collect many data. This request can be get or post based on the form we had created. Now we can return our sign up form in the sign up action. We'll create a tweak called signup.html.twig later in this video. We can now start reading the request object and collect data from it. We can check whether the request object we are receiving is post type as we had specified the method as post in the form object we had created. Now we can start creating our signup form. So we'll create a twig called signup.html.twig. This twig will also extend our index.html.twig. I'll just copy paste the signup form which I have created. So this extends the index.html.twig and contains three fields username, first name and password. Now I'll just run that and check whether it is coming up. Yes. So now we can start accepting the parameters in our action. So we will have to accept the username and password. I have given the same field name so that will be the same. Now we are accepting a field called first name also. So I will create a variable for that too. So I'll just name the fields as username, password and first name. We will have to use the entity called users which was created when we ran the doctrine generate entities command. So we will create a new instance of that here. Now it will have all the setter functions defined. So we can set each variables to the value which we have received from the request. So I'll just map all the variables. We will now create the entity manager for persisting this entity we have created to the database. So we'll get the doctrine entity manager as usual and now for the entity manager there is a command called persist and we can persist our new user entity into this at last we can finalize this database by using the em flush function with these functions we will have the entity created in our db I'll just correct the variable's name. Now we can uh, make the method of this form as post and this button should be submit type and we can give the path we had created in the root that is login underscore sign up 
so this will create an entity from the form so we can just run that and see whether the entity is being created so I'll give the username as user1 first is first one and a password now we can run this and check whether it is coming in the DB yes our new row is being created so we have created a new user using our sign up form in my next video we can do form validations using Parsley JavaScript plugin so thank you guys for watching this video have a nice day